What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel touchdown in the lovely Istanbul so this is where we are going to be spending what I'm going to be spending the next couple of weeks before I head back to Dubai got my brother here Matt who's going to be here for five days so we're going to be exploring this city a little bit so the purpose of this video is going to be showing you guys what we get up to in Istanbul so this is going to be a little bit of a vlog we're also here to uh, get some business in as well so obviously with Matt being on board now with FitLab we're going to use this trip as a good time to get some content talk through a lot of business we've got um, a big announcement which we'll be making later on in the video so stay tuned for that but uh, yeah we're looking forward to spending some time here so let me show you guys this apartment so we are very impressed with this place that we got on Airbnb so for you guys that know Airbnb sometimes you can know it's a little bit hit and miss uh, this place is definitely lived up to expectation so we've got a lovely double beds here we got our bathroom here which again isn't too bad nice little mirror the best thing about this place is you've probably seen already so might get a little bit of work done over there another little beds here which actually is broken but we're making it work nice L sofa but the balcony here is incredible so fortunate enough we have got this absolute beast outside Got that for review if the camera picks that up incredible so got this it's so good they've got a couple of seats out here as well so for the morning coffees morning breakfast on the balcony we've got that epic view to wake up to every single day the temperature is not actually too bad in istanbul so for very like mixed reports on this a couple of people said that turkey was going to be absolutely boiling but I think Istanbul gets slightly cooler weather so we're not, we're not too bad when you're used to the Dubai heat of like 40 45 degrees coming to a place like this feels feels nice it doesn't feel too hot at all so feeling good at the moment and the plan today is just arrived uh late last night so Max is getting on with a little bit of work at the moment got a few clients that we're onboarding ready for next week business <laughs> business doesn't stop and um, also got some check-ins which I'm going to be getting back to shortly as well and then I think the plan is going to be Go and check out the gym downstairs which we've already seen which isn't too bad um we've also got a lovely swimming pool as well so we're going to uh go and use those two things and then probably hit the town try and find somewhere to uh, enjoy what istanbul's got to offer at night a couple of clubs bars i'm not really sure we've not really made our mind up on that yet but hopefully we'll have an epic night anyway time to crack on with some work So we just got back from the supermarket. So one thing that we wanted to talk about a little bit, this is where a lot of people struggle when they're traveling, when they're going away, is how to approach nutrition, okay? So obviously if you're on holiday, you don't need to be really strict, but me and Matt have a kind of approach and a system that we use when we go away, which we think works really well. We still enjoy ourselves, we still go out, but we still make sure that we eat really nutritious foods as well. We like to enjoy the kind of the culture or the place that we're in, get some of the local produce and it just makes us feel really, really good. So we just cooked up a, a really nice breakfast to show you guys some of the ingredients that we got, some eggs, some cheese. Uh, what else do we have in that avocados, breakfast? They were amazing. They were, yeah. yeah, avocados. The avocados in England just aren't the same. No, not the same really at all. But yeah, I think it's important when you come away. Like the last thing that we want when we're on holiday or when we're traveling is just to feel crap, to feel sluggish, have no energy, feel bloated by the pool. Like you should definitely enjoy yourself when you go away. And we do use an approach of clients. We'll talk to them, ask what they kind of want the expectation to be like for that holiday. But I think as a rule of thumb, if you just go away, eat loads of crap food, get wasted, don't drink any water, you're going to feel rubbish and it's just going to affect your holiday, your mood, your energy, which is going to take away the enjoyment. Yeah, it's exactly like the same thing really. I mean, we, you know, obviously always go on about like the sort of the 80-20 rule where like, you know, 80% of your food sort of clean, um, single single food sources. Um, so we, I mean, we don't really change it much abroad. So we'll ideally try and make sure that we're eating healthy throughout the day, you know, getting the micronutrients in, getting the, the healthy fats and, and carbs in. And then, you know, in the evening, maybe chill out a little bit. Have, we'll obviously have some meals out, enjoy some of the local food. But that's the thing, like sometimes people sort of say, but oh, you, you know, but you want to enjoy the local food, you want to enjoy the local produce, you're on holiday. But that's the thing, like, like my brother said, you know, 
sometimes that in the UK, some of our food's not always the freshest. It's not always the best. You come somewhere like this and you, you know, you eat the local vegetables, the local cheeses, the local meats. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. So, uh, what we cooked up this morning was incredible. It's so fresh. Like really cheese. Up. Yeah. We, you know, literally just went to a local market, bought some of their, their local vegetables that have probably no doubt been sourced locally. Mm. Um, so for me and, and Chris, that is enjoying the local food. Yeah. We're enjoying And we feel good as well. We've got great energy. We're full. Yeah. Uh, when you eat crap foods, like generally, like you, you don't get full up. So you're just going to want to eat, keep eating more. You keep grazing. Um, you never get full, so this is why we like to choose. And I think this is why sometimes it's worth booking an Airbnb. Like, obviously, it's different depending on what type of holiday that you go on. But when you come to places like this, or we're trying to travel a little bit more, like Airbnbs are fantastic because you do get the cooking facilities. Whereas if you go to a hotel, obviously you are pretty much having to eat exactly what they've got there without being able to have much choice. So yeah, yeah, especially like, like all, I can all inclusive. You know, it's great for two days, but. Well, it's it's terrible. Day three, you just yeah, you feel terrible. You're bored of it. Whereas you know, pace yourself. At the end of the day. Mm. Or, you know, I'm only here for five days, but, you know, still, I want to, I want, by the fifth day, I don't want to be absolutely sick to death of, yeah, small, but I'm feeling terrible. Yeah. So, you know, just, just nice to have a bit of a, still have that sort of save it for a dream and uh, mentality. But without a doubt, we will be enjoying some of that. So we'll probably be eating out somewhere tonight. Um, so we'll try and capture some of that wherever we end up going. Obviously, there is a lot of nice food in Turkey, so we'll be enjoying that too. But it's all about balance. It's all about compromise. I don't think you need to be super strict when you're away. Of course you don't. But I think that you also want to keep some of those habits that you've built when you're away. Because I've heard it before where like some clients come back and they have gained quite a lot of weight and they don't feel good about it. And then it's taken them a long time to be able to get the weight back off again. So you just got to ask yourself, like, is it worth it? Like, If you're happy to go back into a dieting phase soon as you get back from the holiday and be spending there, you know, maybe another eight weeks, fair enough. But if you would rather just, you know, compromise a little bit on your holiday, enjoy yourself without obviously taking a massive step back, um, a setback from your kind of goals, then this is the kind of approach that we take. So I'll try and show you guys as much as possible across this video, um, the kind of like habits and foods and way that we approach traveling and, and how we stay in shape whilst we're not at home. So anyway, let's go on with some work. <laughs> So here's a little example of the kind of foods that we're talking about. So I've gone with a nice bowl of proats. They didn't have, so the teaspoon is just literally buried in there. Um, they didn't have a regular bowl. So I had to improvise with a huge mixing bowl to do the job. Anyway, so we got some oats, we got some protein. So this is what I normally travel with, especially there's not huge amounts of space in the suitcase. So just loads of little sachets from my protein, which I can use. So oats, protein powder, uh, blueberries, and then it was a hazelnut butter. Hazelnut it? butter, yes, absolutely on me. Yeah, hazelnut butter. Well, yes. you were pleasantly surprised. And then uh, Matt's got himself. So I got for like some, wow, well, Greek Turkish yogurt, um, low fat with some uh, walnuts, almonds, and then some apple, and a little bit of honey on top as well. So yeah, natural, and proper, good quality food, high protein, high fat, but healthy fat. Um, it's going to fill us up. It's going to make us feel good. So what we're doing is we're kind of saving the bigger meals, the more unhealthy meals for later in the evening. So we're going to enjoy this on the balcony and we've crack on with a bit more work. Yes, guys, so it is Monday, probably seen from the weekend that we went out on a Saturday after we finished our work block in the end, um, which was good. We had a really good night out, really good food, a few good drinks as well. First time me and Matt have drank in a little while. Istanbul is very busy on a Saturday night, um, but we had a really, really good time. We got in a little bit of conflict at the end. Uh, we went to the last club that we went to and the kind of 
common thing that happens in European cities sometimes trying to get charged about five times what our bill was just for like sitting down in a club. We had a couple of girls that come and approach us. They tried to get us to buy drinks for the girls and me and Matt were having none of it. So we decided just to walk out. We paid what we owed and um, yeah, it was all okay. But these things do happen sometimes. You've got to be a little bit careful when you come to places like this. Um, but anyway, yesterday we felt a little bit worse for wear. I didn't feel too bad. Matt's got up this morning and done a, a workout. So we didn't get too much footage yesterday just because we were kind of relaxing a little bit. We went to an incredible restaurant in the evening. So I'm going to put some footage up here, see exactly where we went to. It was a rooftop bar. Um, really, really good food there. Really good night. Really chilled. What's that? Yeah, so we're going to go back there again on Tuesday as well because that'll be Matt's last night. Get some more food there, relax and uh, chill. And then today we've been up early. So we both got up at six today. Matt's got quite a lot of fitness done this morning. Um, I'm a little bit behind on that. So I just smashed out lots of check-ins, getting back to clients. That is one thing that I always try and make sure I keep in place when I go away and travel. Um, I think I've got a real luxury of my job. I don't take it for granted. So I always want to try and maintain standards, get back to clients, do check-ins on time, you know, get all that done. For me, that's fun anyway. I enjoy that, keeps me fulfilled and then enjoy myself for the rest of the day. So we're just off to one of the markets now. I think it's called the Grand Bazaar Market. Um, in Istanbul, it's one of the attractions there. So we're going to enjoy that. Going to try and vlog a little bit whilst I'm there. Not too much. Got to be a little bit careful if I'm taking a camera with me. Um, but yeah, try and get some footage for you guys. Show you what it's like. And yeah, I'll catch you there. Yes guys, so it is Tuesday. As you saw yesterday, we got some pretty good footage. Whilst we're out, Istanbul is a very busy place. Uh, so we went to the Grand Bazaar, which is just a massive market in Istanbul, which is really good. It's just so many people there, it's a crazy place. Uh, and then we just saw a couple of locations after we went to the Galata Bridge, which again was pretty cool. Um, and then we just come for a little kind of walk around there. The only issue is getting back. Never been to a city like this before where transport is not good here. It's such a busy city. There's not that many taxis. The trams, like the language isn't in English. So we didn't know which direction we were going in. So it was a little bit mental, but we did get back in the end. And then uh, me and Matt had a couple of calls, which we did. Um, and then we got kind of a relatively early night and then up nice and early this morning. We went and trained legs this morning. So it's a pretty brutal session. Didn't really get too much footage from the training session. We just went in there, got the job done, which to be honest is the best approach to take on holiday when you're out, when you're traveling. Just want to go in and go hard. We didn't have huge amounts of equipment, but we definitely made it work. I'm definitely going to try and get some more footage tomorrow when we train. We're going to have a little bit of a spa morning tomorrow. So anyway, the plan today is, I don't even know where we're going today. I think we're going to the Sultan Ahmet region where you've got the Aya Sophia, the top, Papi Palace on the Blue Mosque. So yeah, we'll probably try and take a couple of those off. Yeah, so just some more touristy bits today to do as well. So gonna do that. Gonna try and take a little bit more footage whilst I'm there. Show you guys hopefully some of the more historical parts of Istanbul. And then we've got another reservation tonight at our, we actually going to the same place that we went to the other night as it was so good there. And we don't want to kind of take any risks. It's going to be Matt's last night. So we want to make sure that we get somewhere that we know is going to be really good, really good rooftop bar, really good food, um, enjoy ourselves and then take things from there. So we'll see you guys there.
So it's Wednesday, it's Matt's last day. So we're just enjoying a couple of coffees before we go and train. So we've got one more workout to get done. We're gonna do a little bit of a spa day as well. So we've got a sauna downstairs, we've got a nice pool. Uh, so we're gonna use that and hopefully have a good last few hours before Matt's leaves. We kind of wanted to wrap this video up a little bit. So we're gonna take a little bit of footage downstairs. Firstly, just give a bit of our overall review of Istanbul. So we probably say we have more of a mixed review. Like there's parts of it that we really like. Um, there's a lot going on here. It's a very busy sea but it's also a little bit too busy. Transport's not great. People aren't always very honest. We've had a few quite stressful bouts of being out here as well. But overall, we think it's a fairly nice place. What's your thoughts of Istanbul? Yeah, it's obviously like very nice. It's a very different culture. So it's always nice to experience different cultures. The food's really good. Um, yeah, the yeah, food's been good. Amazing architecture. Some of the mosques and stuff are incredible. But yeah, like Chris said, it's just, just let down a little bit. So some absolutely lovely people here some really nice people, but there's some real scammers and they just, just lets, you, lets it down. They're just, yeah. Mm. I've come across a few people that are just a bit dishonest and try and take your money. And yeah, it's probably one of the worst places I've been to, to be honest, for sort of scammers and, you know, yeah. dishonesty. Taxi drivers just like charging you. Yeah. They sort of look at look at us, like Westerners, and try and charge a lot of money for very short trips. And there's just a lot of dishonesty, which is a little bit frustrating, but having said that, we've met some lovely people out here as well. and. Overall, we've had a good time. Obviously, as we've previously mentioned, we had a bit of an episode on our first night in one of the clubs, which again involved us someone's getting scammed, which we refused to pay. So we got away with that one. But yeah, overall, we think it's a great city. We had a good day yesterday, went to some of the mosques, saw the religion and the kind of culture and stuff out here, which we both really enjoyed. Probably wouldn't be the place that we come back to, I think, again, like we, we, we've enjoyed it here, but it's not the sort of place I think I'll come back for the second time. I think we've probably seen enough of it. and. I wouldn't say it's like massively relaxing. It's it's so busy, there's so much going on. It's, mm. it's just stressful trying to get around, trying to transit, the roads are crazy. So yeah, it's a nice place to experience, but yeah, it's not it's not somewhere I'd come if I wanted, you know, like a chilled few days. At least the only good thing, well, there's a lot of good things, but the apartment that we've got here is really good. So obviously Matt's going back now, but I'll be here for another week myself, but at least I just can kind of chill here, use the facilities, relax. I'll still get out and enjoy myself a little bit, but yeah, before I go back to the bike, we can chill. So yeah, the other kind of thing we wanted to wrap this video up on a little bit, so when we spoke about at the start, obviously saying we got a little bit of news to drop. So recently, uh, Matt has decided to hand his notice in at the police, which is obviously a huge step for him and for me as well, to join FitLab full time from October. So this is really exciting. We kind of weren't anticipating on this happening quite so soon. So obviously Matt joined the coaching team probably a couple of months ago now, already started taking on clients. And we kind of predicted that it would be maybe around next year in January, February time that Matt would come full time at FitLab. That was obviously still the goal between us. But with the current growth that we've had and just the kind of needs for Matt to be in this for full time and be all in. We just decided that it was worth pulling the plug a little bit early and yeah, basically bringing him on board from October. So we've got, I think he's got six weeks left or so in the police. And then obviously he'll be coming on full time Fit Lab, which we're both really excited for. So it's going to be a huge step for the brand and in the right direction that we know the potential of the brand, we know where it's heading. And I think for me, it's nice to have someone with the same vision that shares the same passion for coaching that we're going to be able to now excel with things forward. So what was the kind of, feeling like when you obviously made that step and handed in your notice and, and and kind of like how are you feeling about that at the moment well yeah, i think it's it's obviously mixed emotions like you know don't get me wrong there's some frustrating aspects to the police but i think in general you know i did i did like it obviously met I had some good friends there met some good people and um obviously it was quite sort of a big decision to to, to leave that um and sort of take a step away and ultimately you know it's you're walking away from something that's a very sort of safe as in mm. At the moment, there's always, there's always a need for the police. You've got a yeah. salary coming in every month to the, you know, obviously stepping outside to that kind of, that side of business where you've never got a guaranteed pay. Yeah, for sure. Get that business in. But like Chris said, I think, um, you know, I'm really excited to get on board. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while. I've always kind of wanted to get into, you know, the, the self-employed running your own business, sort of entrepreneurial side of things, something I've always been interested in. So I, I like to think that I'm quite a hardworking person with a, with a good work ethic, which I think is really sort of, a good trait to having in career paths like this um and i think you can really sort of you, you get out what you put in so with, with a coaching business like this you know i like to think that with both of us working really hard we can reap the benefits mm -hmm. whereas you know in my previous job sometimes like you know you maybe feel that there's people that work less hard there's people that work more hard but everyone earns the same pay back at the end of the day you know it's just straight along the middle and i think yeah so it's i'm really excited to get on board with this it's not as much incentive is there to exactly, be able to yeah. working whereas with this like yeah 
so much more fulfilling as well and like we know if we work hard we're going to be able to reap the benefits and that's it ourselves and not even just financially like you know people achieving their goals like you know there's nothing more or obviously you have a job at least yeah i i like to try and help people out that was a major joining factor for me the same within this you know seeing some of the the, the sort of your fulfillment and enjoyment that people get from achieving their goals is massive so yeah it's really nice to be able to get involved with that and share my passion with other people and be able to sort of help them as i've experienced the journey myself and the thing is as well is that you've always had a massive passion for fitness as well haven't you like i remember obviously when i was growing up like you were obviously in the gym you were training so you're now able to obviously do what i do which is actually have your passions your career as well and be able to do something you actually enjoy and wake up enjoying every single day which i think is really important and we're able to come to places like this we have to travel and like we've probably said previously in this video like we're not just here just to, to go out and see the culture and not actually put in the work as well so you know we're quite happily sitting here checking the setups all that kind of stuff make sure clients are happy and then we can go out and enjoy ourselves and travel to places as well and i think one of matt's kind of visions and goals within these next couple of years is to come out and enjoy me as well in dubai so we've already kind of already looked at the time frames for that and we just think that in order to keep growing fit lab and get to the position that we want it to bring Matt out with me as well and be able to grow it together in dubai so we're kind of already putting in the steps for that too which is uh pretty exciting anyway let's go train yeah go train So that is the gym session smashed. One of those sessions where me and Matt really did not want to train at all. Um, obviously we haven't eaten the best over the last couple of days. So digestion has not been the best. Had a little bit of alcohol as well as you would do if you were coming away. So the kind of motivation to train today was not really there, but we just got head down and got it done. And that's one thing that we preach a lot of it lab. Like you can't just train when you want to train. Otherwise you'll probably only train 50% of the time. And even when you go away as well, you still need to try and maintain those standards, still try and train, still try and exercise at the very least so that you don't just end up being a slob, gaining lots of weight and having really poor energy expenditure. Plus, I think training is a lot more enjoyable when you go on holiday sometimes because you're in a much better place, you're not as stressed, you can just kind of relax and enjoy things a little bit and training always puts you in a really good headspace as well. So that's why we've made the effort to make sure that we train out here. Obviously, we do love it, but at the same time, we're normal people. We don't enjoy every single session. We still go and we get the job done. So anyway, about to make some food, I'm gonna join Matt in the kitchen in a second. I'm gonna wrap the video up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, kind of seeing what we get up to in Istanbul and plenty more of these to come as well. I'm obviously here for another week, so I'm gonna be getting plenty more footage whilst I'm out here. But for this video, I'm gonna wrap up here. So make sure you like this video if you've enjoyed this kind of content. Make sure you drop a comment below if there's anything that you'd like to see. Please make sure that you subscribe as well so you don't miss any videos. See you guys in the next video.